Hi there, I'm Adrian Salisbury and this is another of our Ecamm Live tutorials and in this video, we're going to look at how to broadcast to Facebook. And we're going right from scratch. I haven't even logged anything in on this, so work through with me. Right down the bottom here, it says Facebook login. This is where you're gonna to wanna to enter your Facebook email address and password. Okay, that comes up with a message on here, it tells me to get started. So now it's pre-filled this and Ecamm has taken my details because it knows the accounts that I've got so it's asking, do I want to post as me personally or as one of my business pages? Now, if I choose me personally, then it's saying to me, do I want to go onto my timeline? Do I want to post to my timeline just to friends? Uh, or do I want to post to my timeline just as me? And I really recommend you have a go at this before you do your first big live. And so if I'm a member in one of these groups down here, I can go live into that group as long as the group has given Ecamm permission to broadcast into it. Now initially you're not gonna have any groups set up inside Facebook. When you come over to post ads and you go onto your business page, so I've got several business pages there, but my Adrian Salisbury page, when I then come from post ads to post two, it then shows me my linked groups. Now, I've just removed a couple out and uh, there are a couple still in there. So my Pro Video Academy members group is there, fitness videos made easy is in there, but I wanna go live into my Pro Video Made Easy group. Uh, how do I make it appear? You're gonna see nothing in there to start with. Uh, so I come over here to my group, my Facebook group, Pro Video Made Easy, and under more, I go to edit group settings, and down here it talks about apps, and it says add apps. Search in apps and I'm gonna type in Ecamm. And then it says add the app to the group. Click on add and it's done. Now when I jump back into Ecamm and I go post as Adrian on my business page post to, instead of my business page timeline, Pro Video Made Easy with Adrian Salisbury is now there. So that's what you need to do in order to give permission for Ecamm to post into your groups on your behalf. And then I can choose to either go live now and scheduled and I just hit this button and it will give me a quick countdown and boom, I'm in. Or I can schedule and be covering that in another video. So that's all the theory, but we can't actually do a video on going live to Facebook without going live to Facebook. So we're going to do it over into my group. We've just set up earlier my Facebook group over here, Pro Video Made Easy, and that's where we're going to go live. So we're not going to do a scheduled one. We're doing that in another video. We're going to go live now unscheduled. So we could hit the button here. Before we do, we're going to put in a title and a description. To be honest, the title rarely gets seen. It will if you're scheduling a post or if you're boosting a post out as an advert or something, but the description is the block of text that somebody sees. So I would always put the title in, but then carry it down and put it in the description as well. Now in this one, I'm simply just putting this as a test because I don't want people to see that I'm going live and wonder what's happening. Um, but you would normally put in there, you know, a support call or a title of your live just to give people a taste of what's coming. But let's just show you how to finish this off. All I do now is hit go live, and as you're going to see, this is now counting down, and as you can see, we are live. Uh, guys, if you're watching this in the group, uh, this is purely a little demo that I'm doing over for Ecamm. Uh, now that keeps going, my comments would appear here. Again, we're covering that in another video. When I'm ready to finish, watch what happens. I click finish down here first, and then it says, do you want to end your broadcast? It's just a fail safe. And yes, we do want to stop it before anybody jumps on and sees us. And then you get this message at the end. The live broadcast has ended. The video is now a post on Pro Video Made Easy. Do I want to view it? Do I want to delete it? In this case, I'm about to click delete. Um, and it also saves a recording. Whenever you do a live, Ecamm will save you a local copy. And it's a really good quality and there's a lot of benefit in using that video in other ways. In fact, one of the options is to send it straight up to YouTube. So I can click that. If I've done a live and it's been really good, I click that button, it will send it up to YouTube. I can then jump into YouTube to see the file and change my title description and do whatever else I want with it. 
Um, or I can simply look at the file locally, tidy it up, and then maybe put it up to YouTube then. Okay, so that's how you go live into Facebook using Ecamm. In the next video, let's have a look at YouTube.